Fire Friday say they got to the flames quickly, though people who live here wish they could have gotten here a little sooner. We dial both of those numbers, and each one is disconnected. All right, John, thank you. Now to our top story for this hour. After much anticipation, New Jersey Transit releases the details of its fare hikes and service changes plan. Files One's Lisa Yip has more on what you can expect. A fire in Patterson rips through an apartment building. This was the scene outside the three-story building at 416 Van Houten Street this morning. The fire broke out at around 1 on the top floor and spread through six apartments. No reports of any injuries, but many residents now have no place to come home to. And as the weather starts to warm up, wild bears start to wake up. Already throughout the area, several bears have attacked beloved pets. Files once Kimberly Wallace has details on what you can do to keep from attracting bears and to keep your family and pets safe. Files One News. All right, Kimberly, thank you. And the bear that attacked and killed a dog and waned has now been put down. Step right up. The circus is in town. Ringling Brothers and Barnum Bailey's new show, Barnum's Phenundrum, is taking over the Prudential Center through this Sunday. Files One's Rob Patron is in Newark and has a couple of special guests with him. Files One News. All right, Barnum's Phenundrum, without Rob, will also be at the Izod Center March 10th through the 14th, at the Nassau Coliseum March 17th through the 21st, and in Madison Square Garden March 25th through April 4th. When I opened the back door, that's when the um, flame of um, fire came up. Stephen Davis is one of the 23 people who lost everything in this fire. Fortunately, none of them lost their lives. The fire officials say the flame started on the first floor at 46 Caroline in Yonkers at almost 7 p.m. Thursday, then quickly spread to the upper floors and the home next door. So when I checked again, they'll say that's when it was burning the floor. I like, whoa. So I grabbed my daughter and I picked up the phone. I called 911. Fire Friday say they got to the flames quickly, though people who live here wish they could have gotten here a little sooner. Just about everybody agrees, though, it could have been much worse. Absolutely could have been worse. If, if it was not for the diligence and the hard work of the men, we may have had exposure. We may have had this blue building going as well. When firefighters got here, it was a one alarm blaze, but they say it was moving so quickly they had to quickly change it to a three alarm. They just needed more help to put it out. Two firefighters were hurt, though, with what are believed minor injuries. And as investigators now try to figure out what caused the fire, people who used to call this place home now wonder the same thing. How did this happen? In Yonkers, Mike Stevens, News 12. Right now, I'm upset. Sonia DaCosta can't believe what she's seeing, or should we say, not seeing. She and family members came down to Bianca Furniture on North Main Street in Spring Valley to find out why no one has been answering the phone. The reason? It's out of business. And I came down and the doors are closed. And, you know, it's, it's a shame, and I want my money back. Sonia says two weeks ago she ordered items from the store that took over the old Garfunkel Furniture Building. And now the old new furniture there are the ones on pictures taped to the windows. When I had um, spoke to him on the phone, he told me, oh, come down and put the money down, you know, because um, you got to put the money down, and, you know, this and way. Very persistent. Right, so this way you can get it, you know, your order next week. It's coming from Italy. Last year, Sonia bought this china cabinet and a leather sofa set from Bianca's. So when the glass chipped and she needed new cushions, she went back to order replacements. Now, she says, she's out 200 bucks. Now, on the receipt, there are two phone numbers, contact numbers for the store. We dial both of those numbers, and each one is disconnected. Police say at least four other customers have called them with the same complaint, and they're now investigating. Meantime, Sonia has a message for the store owner. Say, Jimmy, if you're looking, I want my money. In Spring Valley, Mike Stevens, News 12.